Hi there. I'm going to say a few words today about sex abuse and our boundaries. And uh, I thought this was quite an important thing to include as far as sex is concerned and abuse and even sex in general. And today I want to highlight our boundaries and what it means to set a boundary and putting sex and abuse in that context of our boundaries and understanding that we have the right to set a boundary is a really powerful tool to have in our safe relationship toolbox as I call it. So when we understand that when, when we're in any situation in life, any relationship, we always have the right, an assertive right to set boundaries. And these are boundaries that we can use to protect our being on every level, emotionally, sexually, physically, spiritually, and psychologically. We have the right to set a boundary. And the way we set boundaries actually protects our growth because it, it protects our personal growth because it stops us from engaging or inviting negativity into our lives because we have this ability to set a boundary and when we set a boundary we're able to say no I'm not comfortable with that and I'm not going to engage in that and I'm not going to allow that person to hurt me, damage my boundaries, walk across my boundaries anymore. So as far as sex is concerned and sex and abuse, when we have strong boundaries, we're not likely to compromise our sexuality in any situation because we know that that potentially is going to be damaging to us. If we enable someone enough to abuse us sexually, um, then we're, we're not maintaining strong boundaries we're allowing them to come across those boundaries and we're saying through our actions, through not speaking up, that that's okay for that person to cross our boundaries and control us or manipulate us into a situation that we're not happy with. So I wanted to highlight the ability to set a boundary and initially, the biggest boundary that we can set is with ourselves. And we can say to ourselves, there are certain things that I'm not going to allow people to do. I'm not going to allow people to disrespect me or to cross my boundaries or to abuse me. I'm going to equip myself with the tools necessary in order to say no and in order to be able to safely leave a situation if I have to. And so maintaining boundaries is a protective measure. We can maintain spiritual boundaries, we can use shielding, uh, we can use verbal communication, we can use our actions if the person isn't listening to our boundaries and they're still continuing to push past our boundaries. And we can use that in order to stop ourselves being abused sexually. And we can say, I'm not going to allow that to happen. Rather than handing over our power to the other person by allowing them to cross our boundaries and not doing anything about it. So our power is being drained because we're not standing up for ourselves and setting those boundaries and saying, I'm not going to allow that to continue. It's got nothing to do with what the other person does. It's, it's got to do with our own responsibility. 
to maintain our own safe relationship toolbox and to be able to say now and potentially walk away safely. So I hope that's helpful to someone out there. And as always, stay safe and, yep, yeah, very happy. Bye-bye.